Hey guys, this is Wanda the Traveling Dachi coming right at you from beautiful Costa Rica. Today though, we're going to talk about the dangerous side of Costa Rica. I'm actually going to list five dangers here in Costa Rica. If you're new to this channel, I'm a Dutch expat. I've been living in Costa Rica for the last 17 years. And with my channel, I'd like to help anybody looking to move to Costa Rica, travel to Costa Rica, or who wants to travel and work online. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you receive a notification every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get into it. I actually made myself a list, five dangers to watch out for when in Costa Rica. Number one is drowning. This is actually very sad. Uh, drowning here in Costa Rica happens very frequently. There's two different scenarios. So, for example, number one is the rip tides and the currents while swimming in the ocean, so at the, at the beach. So what happens is people get stuck in this rip tide, in this current, they panic and they obviously naturally try to directly swim uh, back to shore. Uh, they get exhausted and, and they drown. And so the idea is to actually, when you get stuck in a rip current, to actually swim parallel to the beach so you actually swim out from the current and then back to the beach um i was actually i have friends that work for the american embassy and when they were uh, located here in costa rica they would have like the emergency phone in case something happens to uh american expats and uh drownings were a frequent scenario very very sad Another reason to watch out is, for example, waterfalls, the currents in the waterfall pools, because especially in the rainy season, if there was heavy rain, a waterfall where normally you can swim just fine might actually be very dangerous. And I actually had friends of a friend of mine, um, they actually drowned because they were swimming in a, in a pool of a waterfall that normally, it was actually in Juanacaste, normally you could swim in, but because it rained so much, <clears throat> there was a current. And so this was a, a, a couple that it was a husband and a wife and the husband went in first. And so he panicked and he was like, you know, gasping for air. The wife noticed and she jumped in to try to save him, but she jumped in without any floating, you know, device of some sorts and they both drowned. It's so traumatic, absolutely shocking. So please be careful when swimming in the ocean, when swimming in a waterfall pool. Like obviously if you go to La Fortuna waterfall, like somewhere touristy, don't worry, it's fine. But if you go exploring and you, you know, go swim in waterfalls that sort of are off the beaten track, please be careful and just make sure that you have a floating device with you, right? And danger number two that you need to be careful for or snake bites. There's 140 different snakes in Costa Rica and 23 of them are venomous. Now the, the biggest and most venomous snake actually causes most of the, the problems because see the snakes actually are uh, more active in rural areas and the problem here of course is when you're in a rural, rural area you're nowhere near a hospital or a clinic you need you only have a two hour window to get the anti-venom so it will become a race against the clock so the problem in these rural areas you will go to the local clinic which is the advice and they haven't set up like an organized system yet where if you were to call for an ambulance and say hey i got bitten by a snake they don't actually show up with the doctor and the anti-venom no they're just there to pick you up take you to the clinic and then they can uh, administer the anti-venom so not very logical actually a lot of the anti-venom is in the hospitals in San Jose where there's actually the least snake bites I think uh, I read an article the most snake bites happen in the province of uh, Limon and just in general in rural areas so a lot of farmers actually uh, get bitten by snakes as well so it's something you want to be very very alert when you're hiking in rural areas just be sure to to wear good hiking boots as well right because a lot of these uh, farmers believe it or not they wear open shoes so 
yeah, that's not ideal. So snake bites number two, let's move on to number three, which is crocodile attacks. Now, I do want to say it is not super common, but definitely not unheard of. Okay, so you definitely want to be careful, uh, especially because there's an over overpopulation of crocodiles here in Costa Rica. And especially when there's a lot of rain and floods, there's like crocodiles where there shouldn't be. And so you always want to uh, be alert. We actually five years ago had a, a very famous international serving competition in uh, Playa Esterillos and they actually had to postpone it because they spotted uh, gro crocodiles in the serving lineup. Um, so there you go. Be very careful, please. Now let's move on to the next danger. Danger number four when in Costa Rica. And this one actually makes me very sad because it's the danger of, of getting mugged or getting robbed. So sadly, that is um, something you need to be careful for. Uh, certain areas are worse than others. Like for example, certain areas in San Jose, uh, I actually had clients, so just so you know, I co-own a travel company and uh, my clients were walking around in uh, San Jose downtown and the lady was wearing like a beautiful necklace and basically she got mugged because they grabbed her necklace. Uh, another common thing that happens is people leave valuables on the beach when they go swimming. You can't do that. That sadly, you know, the people will steal. So petty theft is definitely a problem here in Costa Rica. Hey, but if you prepare yourself, like obviously lots of places in the world uh, have to deal with this problem. So just be prepared and don't leave anything of value uh, laying around the same with the hotel room although i've never had problems with maid stealing but um if there's a safe use to safe and don't walk around with like uh, jewelry then the last one um danger number five is actually driving in costa rica so um sadly there are so many accidents in costa rica and uh it's actually one of the countries in Latin America that has the most accidents a year and a, a lot of people uh, die in car accidents here. So yeah, driving in Costa Rica is special. Uh, even though the Ticos are super kind, patient and nice, the moment you're in traffic it, it becomes a whole different story. It's a bit more aggressive uh, and their driving is very um, unorganized. They don't follow the rules so that's always a problem. Like, And for example, passing here on a three-way highway, you can pass from either side. So that obviously causes some accidents as well. There's no uh, clear road signs and even you know, and even if there are, like I said, people don't always follow the rules. And in their scenarios, I can, I now know after 17 years, I don't think when here, when you get your driver's license, I don't think they teach you how to uh, work a roundabout. <laughs> I don't think people know how the roundabout works, but um, so just be careful. Like, it's no big deal. Like, most people rent a car here and they, they drive around and they have a great time. Uh, the worst part is around San Jose. And then other than that, it's actually lovely because there's not that many roads. Uh, but just just be aware of it and be careful and, and be a defensive driver and then, and then you'll be safe. If you do rent a car, be sure that you rent from a reputable company. There's been some issues, some scammy situations i actually made a video about that subject so uh if you're interested if you want to rent a car i'd like to give you the recommendation of the company i use for my travel company so we've had 17 years of experience with this company and they offer the best service they have a good fleet of of, of safe cars meaning like um they're not super old and um well, it's a long story. Just check out the video. It's like right here. I'll also link it uh, at the end. But also, it would be helpful if you just check out my channel. So if you go to my name, Wanda the Traveling Dutchie, click on videos, you'll see over 200 different videos on subjects like, well, anything to do with Costa Rica travel, Costa Rica living. So um, if you have a specific question, use the filter to see, you know, if I made a video about it, chances are I didn't. Uh, most people ask me about the cost of living uh, in Costa Rica. 
So just go to the filter and search cost of living and videos will pop up. Travel to Costa Rica, the, the most common question for me is, um, do you know any hidden gems? I also made videos about hidden gems in Costa Rica. Of course, the entry requirements, all of that. Uh, so yeah, just be sure to check it out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked this video, it helps me out to give it a thumbs up. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao from Costa Rica. Pura vida!